Hi, welcome to Homemade Lovely's YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to make a really simple craft, um, kind of like when we made these bead um, garlands out of wood beads and um, jute or gardener's twine. Today we're actually gonna make um, doorknob hangers. So they're kind of like this, um, but they have a circle and then just a little hang down of beads and uh, some tassels at the end. The easiest thing to do is um, to figure out about how big something would need to be to go around the doorknob. So um, for me, I've counted out and of these beads, um, I'll link to them um, down below, but of these beads, there's about 15 of them to make the circle and then about five more to hang down. So 20 beads in total. I always find um, both with the garlands and with this project that it's much easier to use um, this sort of needle. Um, it has a really big, um, space for the string or the the yarn to go through and then this isn't really pointy um, it's just enough to get through things so I find for this you could just put the, the string through but you're gonna be fraying the ends a lot and that's gonna be frustrating so we're going to just start by putting the the string the jute or gardener swine through um, through the needle and then we're just gonna start stringing on beads. Um, you don't have to worry, I've got it attached here at the end still, we'll deal with that after. So like I said, about 15 beads, string about 15 beads on to make um, the loop part that will go over the job. Because this is what our loop is and now we're just gonna make a tail to hang down. This is where I will actually cut the jute so that there's you know, equal amounts pretty much with your with your loop, pretty much. And then I'm just gonna tie a knot. Um, you can tie any type of knot you like. Um, I'm just doing an, an easy uh, an easy little slip knot. And do this, and then even out your ends, even out the ends of your string right here, so that they're the same. And then we're gonna put both of those ends into the needle. So now we're just going to set that aside for a second, and like I said, we're going to be putting um, we're going to be putting a little tassel on the end of ours. So I've already made a few, but just if you don't know how to make a tassel, basically you just take your jute wrap it around um, you can wrap it around something bigger if you want bigger ones than that um, I wrap it around my my hand at the widest part here wrap it around hmm, ten times will give you a bit of a smaller one um, this one from our other one was wrapped around many more times so um, choose so many times you want to wrap it around and then leave a little bit of tail on the end slide it off of your hand cut it so that there's the tail here so now you're gonna grab it about one third of the way down, if you can see that. So one third of the way down. So, and then you take the tail that you left and wind it around a couple of times and just tuck it in at the back. And then, so basically you have um, this with the, the top part of the tassel. And then you take this, your scissors, and you go to the bottom of the larger loop and you cut it. Then you take the doorknob hanger that we've prepared so far and you put, you separate the two strings and you put one through the loop one way, the loop of the, the loop of your, of your tassel, and you put the other in from the other side, like so. And then you simply tie that off and cut those strings. Like so, and now you have a fun little doorknob hanger. See you next time. 